peach cobbler French toast for breakfast this morning. I have a cook with me up on my channel for this. This is the French toast bakes that Kim and I go back and forth with. Um, this is six points and it's a lot bigger than it appears. It's a really big serving. You could actually cut it into eight servings instead of six if you wanted to save points, but not me. So this is six points on blue and purple and it is nine points on green. And then I have two Jones's chicken sausages for one point. So total on blue is seven, total on purple is seven, and total on green would be 10. A question that I get asked often is about snacking and if I snack because I don't seem to. I'm really not a big snacker anymore. I used to be a big snacker, but it was mindless eating. For me, I'm not saying anybody that snacks eats mindlessly because I know that's not true. But for me, I wasn't hungry, I just like to eat, and it was all very mindless. So I've really, really cut back on the snacking because I find that as long as I eat good, balanced food, I'm not hungry. But I'm also trying to get more veggies in. So this is what I do pretty much every day. I make a little veggie plate, sometimes with dip and sometimes not. This is less than a point of my homemade ranch dip. And the only vegetables I had today were um, pea pods and carrots because my celery was like limp and my cucumbers were gone. So I just have some pea pods and some carrots and I prefer to take a whole carrot and peel it and cut it versus the baby carrot. And I just leave this out on the counter all day and when I get picky, I can just pick on that, you know, and it works for me, but, and it also does help me get my veggies in. So that's what I like to snack about on. About two hours until lunchtime and I am getting hungry, so I am going to eat the last, wah, of my sumo mandarin oranges. It is lunchtime and I am having the JPP picky plate. I've got three ounces of turkey. It is the black bear roasted turkey for zero points. One hard boiled egg for zero points. Baby bell cheese, the light version for one point. A bunch of vegetables that I roasted yesterday. I have tricolor carrots, I have zucchini and I have eggplant all for zero points and a bowl of pineapple for zero points. So this is a one point lunch on purple and blue. And on green, it would be three, four points, I believe. And that is my lunch. Time of day, I'm getting a little bit hungry. So I am having a cup of hot tea and two of my banana muffins. Two banana muffins on the blue plan are one point and I will need to figure out the points for the other plans. I believe it's zero on purple and probably four on green. 5.30 and I am just getting around to doing the introduction for this video. So you saw my breakfast, you saw my lunch, you saw my snack. Now we're on our way to dinner. <coughs> Tonight we are going to, oh crap, turn around. I forgot my stuff. We are going to Chipotle for um, the fundraiser for the drama club for school. And Chipotle is very point friendly actually, but I make it a little more point friendly because I love cheese and I love sour cream. Well, theirs is very point heavy, so I take my own. Um, and you know, it, it doesn't like, it's not like I'm cheating them of money because whatever you put on your bowl is all included like you know they don't charge separately for everything so I'm not trying to cheat them by taking my own stuff I'm just doing what's good for me and my point bank so I take my own reduced fat actually I take two points worth of the reduced fat cheese and then I mix zero points worth of the fat free cheese in there I don't like fat free cheese on its own um, just not my thing but if I mix it with a little bit of reduced fat cheese, I like it that way. And it gives me a lot of cheese. It's like a half a cup of cheese. And I love cheese. Um, and I take um, sour cream. And I like a lot of sour cream because I think Chipotle's a little bit spicy because, you know, we have that discussion that I'm a little bit, what does my husband call it? Spice sensitive. <laughs> So I like a lot of sour cream. So I take two tablespoons of sour cream for one point, and then I mix in another two tablespoons of Greek yogurt for zero points. I have a ton of sour cream to put on top of it. So I get um, the chicken 
which is three points, I get a half a serving of rice, which is three points for the half a serving. And then I get, um, what else? The fajita veggies that are zero points. I get, can you go in and get it? Why where, can, where is it? It's right in the refrigerator. You'll see a container and a baggie. Um, I get the fajita veggies, zero points. I get the corn salsa. Oh my gosh, that is so good. And he left the car with the key, so we're beeping. <laughs> this video started off not a hot mess, but you know my videos always turn into one. Um, I get the corn salsa. What else? Um, the tomato, like the the like pico de, ga de gallo, um, the mild, and that's zero points. I get some lettuce on my bowl and that's zero points. So it actually isn't too bad. Um, stop. By opening the door. <laughs> so it's, Chipotle is really point friendly. I mean, you could, a lot of people don't get the rice. I like the rice. I think the rice makes a bowl. So I definitely use the rice. Um, but you really can make a point friendly especially if you get a bowl or a salad and you can pick and choose. I think the steak is three points also, or maybe four, but their steak is really, really spicy. So I don't get that because it's a little too spicy for me. Um, but it's really actually a good point friendly place to be. Was it, it was dinging. Sorry. It's okay. Um, so yeah, I have my little container of sour cream and Greek yogurt. And my little bag of cheese. That's actually a whole lot of cheese, but for two points, I'm using it all. Um, now my weakness at Chipotle are the chips. Yeah. Sometimes I actually make my own chips and take them, but I didn't do that today. Um, I don't know if Doug is going to get a bag of chips or not. If he does, I'm just not going to sit with him. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, well, Adam will get some. Doug will just take a couple of his and, um, because Adam won't be sitting with us. He'll be sitting with his friends. So, that'll work. But, anyway, that is where we are headed. Uh, I have to pick up my contact lenses at BJ's. They just came in. And I switched contacts. Um, I've been wearing the same brand of contacts for, let's see. I started wearing contacts when I was about 14 or 15, maybe. And now I'm 51. So I have been wearing the same brand of contacts for a very long time. And yes, that long. And my eyes are just adjusting because I'm getting older. And they were not working for me. So I switched to AccuView Oasis, which are a lot, um, they help with the moisture in the eye. And they're a lot. They let the eye breathe a lot better, so I'm going to pick up my contacts at BJ's before we hit Chipotle. That's what we're doing. I will, when we get to Chipotle, I'm sure it's going to be noisy in there, but I will definitely show you my bowl and what I'm eating, and that will probably be it for me for the night. Um, I am trying to roll over some points this week. Oh, um, I think I forgot to mention too. I mentioned in my video the other day that I'm switching back again to blue. And I'm not, I'm really not a wishy-washy person when it comes to this, but I w what I was trying to do was like every six to eight weeks, just kind of switch things up a little bit by switching to purple for a week or two, just to kind of fool my body, but it's not really for me. Um, I really struggled this weekend on purple being away. I think purple would be great for me if we ate home every meal every night. But we don't do that. We're pretty busy. We tend to go out a lot. We've got, you know, weekends with friends and fundraisers and um, that kind of stuff. And for me, now a lot of people think purple is so easy to eat out on. For me, I think it's a little bit tough. Um, I just love blue. I just love freestyle. So I am back to freestyle. And if I ever say I'm switching again, everybody needs to comment and yell at me and say, no, you're not. You're not allowed to do that. You can't do that. 
because I'm not. I'm not switching again. I'm staying on blue. So um, I'm trying to roll over some points this week because we have. What else? What do we have this week? Um, tomorrow I need to have some extra points because tomorrow night uh, Denise and I are going live on our Facebook group at 7 p.m. Eastern. We are going to do a live cook with me. I can't even imagine what's going to happen. We are going to be making two ingredient dough, pretzels, and cinnamon rolls. So we'll see what happens. So if you're a member of our Facebook group, please try to tune in at 7 o'clock tomorrow night to watch us cook live. Um, I'm trying to save a couple points for that. And I think I have a pretty low point day planned tomorrow anyway, except for breakfast. And then... Friday we're good, Saturday we're good, Sunday we are um, heading down to Maryland. We need to take Andrew some stuff for his Habitat for Humanity trip. He needs his work boots, he needs uh, some work jeans, that kind of uh, sleeping bag. So we need to take a ride down to Maryland on Sunday and take all that to him. And I can't say I'm sad because I get to see him and we'll be taking him out to lunch. So I'm just trying to save up some points. So I'm trying to stick to like 19, 20 a day just so I can roll over a few. Um, Andrew is headed out tonight um, at 7 o'clock to Staten Island, New York. Pretty exciting. He qualified for the NEC, Northeast Conference Championships for the shot put. So he's excited. Um, it is a Thursday, Friday, Saturday track meet. Shot put is Saturday at noon. It is the last event of the three-day track meet. So he will be watching a lot of people throw and jump and run before he even gets a chance to compete. So, yeah. Um, I think I, I would have loved to have gone if I kind of had a little bit more notice. Um, but... We have stuff going on. Doug has an important meeting at church on Saturday. And we probably would have had to go up Friday night. And he's got a meeting he, he needs to be at Friday night. So, yeah. I'm just hoping that since he's only a sophomore, this is not the only time he's going to qualify. And we'll be able to go up. Or sometime it's in Connecticut. This time it's in New York. So, hopefully we'll be able to catch it when he is just next year or the year after so maybe next year we'll be able to catch them both maybe Adam will qualify who knows so that will be so exciting and that will definitely get planned in but anyway I have talked for 10 minutes I know I know I'm talking and I can't shut up <laughs> Doug said amen sister he's lived with this for almost 30 years yes we will be married 30 years in April can't wait I'm hoping he's planning some really nice romantic weekend away. Guessing by the face he just made, I don't think so. So, Anyway, I am going to shut up and let you go. And I will be back to show you my dinner. Adam, you want to wave hi? Huh? I said, would you like to wave hi? <laughs> I'm sure you can hear me, but here is my bowl. I got half rice, chicken, lettuce, double veggie, double corn salsa, some regular pico, and I brought my own cheese and my own sour cream. I will add up the points. I want to say it's 11, but I don't remember exactly. I will let you know in the next clip. And there's Doug's massive burrito. I don't even know if you can tell how the size of that thing. It is like the size of my head. That is it for me tonight. I am done eating. Um, it was delicious. It was noisy. It was busy. So hopefully we made a lot of money. Um, I do want to mention my app was really screwing up. When I originally put my banana muffins in the app, they came up two for one point. When you move the little dial, well, It's a good song. <sighs> oh, meet me tonight <laughs> in Atlantic City. <laughs> I have no words. I apologize. Um, 
But when I went to track my two muffins, they came up as two points. If I move the serving, you know, in the thing, it still comes up as one. But the minute I track them, it switches to two. So I'm going with two points for them. I am going to change my website, the recipe on the website, to reflect the change because I don't want to steer anybody wrong. So the app was giving me false information. So anyway, that's that. And I'm out of here. I will, what's tomorrow? Thursday. I will be back tomorrow for a full day of eating, and I promise not to chat your ear off. Um, quick full day of eating tomorrow. Bing, bang, boom, quick. And like I, I think, as long as I can do it with doing the Facebook Live. So if you are not a member of my Facebook, group there is a link in the description box below click on that link and when you answer the little there's two little questions you have to answer when you answer it you can put in there something like came from JPP or something just so I know um, and you know we'll get you approved quickly and then you can watch Denise and I cook live tomorrow night because oh I'm sure it'll be interesting have a fantastic night if you like this video give it a thumbs up Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys like Chipotle. And actually, not to give too much away, but there's a collab coming up in the beginning of March, and I will be doing a Chipotle hack for that collab. But that's all I'm saying. Um, that's it. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Have a fantastic night, and I will see you all tomorrow. I'm going to go watch Survivor.